Sector is clear. Not clear. Not clear. Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we are talking about Star Wars Battlefront 2, what we would like to see and what you the fans would also like to see. So starting off, I just want to talk about what I want to see in Star Wars Battlefront 2 at the end of this year. The first thing we want to see is the single player campaign. Now we do know that it is official, there is a single player campaign in Star Wars Battlefront 2. This has us really excited and we are looking forward to it. We step into the shoes of leader Iden Versio, who is the captain of Inferno Squad. And we've been reading the book recently and she is thrust into a leadership position under the supervision of her father. And there is a bit of a weird connection there. She has this sort of military connection with her dad. However, they're always professional and never really affectionate. So we are interested to see where the story goes. The next thing we're looking forward to is Yoda. Now we've seen in the trailer in my last video that Yoda is going to be a playable character in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now, Yoda's a bit of a different character and his skills are quite interesting. He's always been very wise, but he has always been seen as old and slow. However, when it comes to a fight or anytime Yoda finds conflict, he begins to get all this energy and he can jump and flip around with quick and sharp attacks. And I think in the game, his speed should be used as an advantage and he can get the edge on some of his opponents using that speed. He should have a strong deflection or absorption with the force, like in the prequels as he is seen absorbing the force lightning from the emperor in the prequel movies it is quite powerful so he should have a strong absorption or deflection with his force the next thing we'd like to see is either mace windu or general grievous now mace windu is often hinted at as one of the strongest and most powerful jedi and he's even referred to as a master swordsman or lightsaberman i guess yeah maybe lightsaberman <laughs> But yeah, he is referred to as a master swordsman in the prequel movies, so it is known that he is pretty strong. Now, a bit of background on Mace Windu, he did create his own lightsaber fighting style and it is unique to him alone, which probably is one of the things that makes him quite strong and quite powerful and hard to defeat in battle. However, in the movies, obviously he does end up dying, but it is only because he's caught off guard with Anakin's betrayal that ultimately leads to his death. Now, I want to take this part to just recognize some of my Twitter followers. I do enjoy talking to you guys on Twitter I get DMs from you guys with suggestions or what they want to see in Battlefront 2 or even The Last Jedi anything to do with Star Wars really anything on the books so this next segment of the video is going to be some things that I've gotten from fans on Twitter that they want to see in Battlefront 2 so the first is Inauspicious Pyo and I hope I'm saying that right we had a good chat he actually messaged me and we did talk about a lot of things Star Wars um, and we spoke for a decent length of time but the biggest things he wants to see in Star Wars Battlefront to uh, alternate skins so uh, different costumes different variations of characters or heroes maybe even clones that can be customized to suit your personality or maybe just a different outfit to mix things up or a different loadout we do know that the loadouts for the heroes and villains in Star Wars Battlefront 2 are going to be customizable so the fact that they're going to be customizable is really really cool and it does give us a bit of variety when it comes to playing our personal game the other thing he did want to see is Obi-Wan Kenobi as a playable character now, me, personally, I love Obi-Wan Kenobi. I think this would be awesome. Obi-Wan in the prequels would be a lot cooler than Old Ben. I mean, I know Old Ben is part of the original movie, but seeing him in the prequels, he is so powerful. He's so strong. He's so wise. He has a combination of a little bit of Yoda, a little bit of Mace Windu. You know, he's got his own flair that he adds into it. So he is a really, really cool character, and I think you can really go in depth with Obi-Wan as a playable character. So that's something else he wants to see, and I really want to see as well. I think it'd be awesome. Now, the the next person that has sent a message in was at Star Wars Chief on Twitter as well. Interactions between Item Versio and her father is something he wants to see. Like we mentioned before, we have been reading the book and it is a bit of a weird relationship between her and her father. He keeps it strictly professional. She addresses him as Sir um, or Admiral and there's not really that loving father-daughter relationship. So it's interesting to see their interactions in the game.
game because we know now how it is in the book. So if it's different in the game or maybe towards the end of the game, they have a turning point, that would be cool. So that's a good recommendation of what you want to see in the new game. Uh, the other thing he wanted to see was the ID-10 droid and its capabilities. So we do have small snippets of footage of the ID-10 droid detaching from the back of who should be Item Versio's Inferno Squad Stormtrooper suit. So the ID-10 does creep up behind a rebel and shock him or electrocute him. So we know that will most likely be one of the characteristics of the ID-10 droid. However, it'll be interesting to see if it is customizable, what you can do with it, how deep they're going to go in with the droid and what variations we're going to see. So thanks for that, Star Wars Chief. All right, on to the next. At Wally West DCU is another entry from Twitter. And we were talking a little bit about Anakin Skywalker from the prequels as a playable character. So there are a lot of requests for prequel characters in the upcoming Battlefront 2. And I think it goes back to the way the original Battlefront 2 was on PlayStation. 2. So Anakin Skywalker is pretty much the main character or one of the main characters in the prequel movies. So he is very powerful. He has a different streak as he was raised as an older Jedi and he tends to rebel against the Jedi even earlier on before he starts to turn to the dark side and be corrupted by Emperor Palpatine. You know, he falls in love which is forbidden by the Jedi Order. He's not happy that he doesn't get granted the rank of Master on the Jedi Council so he does have less control of his emotions and he does get uh, quite emotional throughout the prequel series so I think that they could play to this and make one of his attributes or one of his strengths his emotion or his anger and maybe he get, can get a boost or something like like that he can get you know his anger will unleash and it'll either boost his stats or his speed or his aggressiveness his damage dealt something like that would be really cool so revenge of the sith anakin would be the most powerful anakin before he has turned into darth vader so revenge of the sith anakin sort of when he takes on obi-wan is the sort of area that we are looking at for that character now we do have confirmed characters already so we know of uh darth maul that we saw in the trailer we saw yoda in the trailer we saw darth Vader for a short time we saw Luke in the background and we also saw Boba Fett so that is going to be really cool for all those characters now we also have Kylo Ren and Rey and going back to what I said earlier about the uh, customizable skins or outfits for characters it has been confirmed that Kylo Ren and Rey will have different outfits that you can fit them out with if you pre-order Star Wars Battlefront 2 you do get extra skins or outfits for Kylo Ren and for Rey you can actually get Kylo Ren without his helmet as well as with the helmet and Rey will have some sort of different attire I'm guessing which would be really cool as a pre-order bonus in the game. So there are a couple extra things I want to talk about next and it's things we might see in Battlefront 2 but hasn't actually been confirmed yet. In the release trailer we do see that there are some rebel soldiers riding Tauntauns around. Now this is awesome. So for anyone that isn't familiar with a Tauntaun it was on Hoth and they are creatures that are ridden. They run around on two legs. They are ridden by rebel soldiers in the original trilogy so we do know that Tauntauns could could be in the game as they were seen in the trailer. I'm assuming it's going to be run similar to the cavalry class in Battlefield 1. They can be mounted through gameplay or spawned on maybe. Possibly an alternate loadout or different weapons or abilities that you can use while on the Tauntaun as well as being able to get off it and get back on it. The other thing that has been confirmed is customizable clone skins. So everyone will be able to play as a clone trooper. One of the coolest things is different colored armor. So you think of Captain Rex and guys like that, that in the Clone Wars were, you know, different ranks, different leadership positions. They wore the same clone armor, but it had different markings, different colorings. You know, they may have had white with blue. They may have had white with yellow. So this would be really cool as something coming into Star Wars Battlefront 2. And it has actually been confirmed. But I know what you're thinking. The armor is limited in how it can be customized. So it's not like you can just go all out and change the full color. It may just be the markings and slight color modifications. So I'm sorry, guys, you can't have a bright pink clone clone trooper running around slaying people. It's just not going to happen. And yes, we are as disappointed as you are, but that's part of the game. As always, I love hearing from you guys on YouTube and also on Twitter. So feel free to message me about anything Star Wars, what you guys want to see in the upcoming game, what you're expecting from The Last Jedi, anything to do with any of the books, maybe some suggestions on what we can read next. We are in the middle of Inferno Squad right now and it has been going well, but any suggestions you guys have on what to read after Inferno Squad would be really, really appreciated. And 
And before I get out of here, there is one more thing I do want to bring up. A competition and giveaway is currently running and can be found on my Twitter page at The Twisted Jedi. So go ahead, follow me on Twitter. All the competition details are in my pinned tweet. So you can see everything that you need to do there. Super easy to enter and we have some awesome prizes to give away. Once again, thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time and may the force be with you.